Ew, gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. Hey, this is Slash. Discover my new music now on JJO. Slash? Yeah, man. Hey, how are you, bud? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. And I have been given strict instructions by my bosses that I have 10 minutes and to not f*** this up. So you're going to have to do most of the heavy lifting on this, bud, all right? All right, all right. (laughs) Slash featuring Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators' new album announced uh, titled Four, going to be out February 11th, 2022. Current single, The River is Rising. And let's top it off with a new tour as well uh, that'll be kicking off on February 8th. Boy, you got all sorts of free time, huh? You're just doing albums, tours. That's uh, pretty exciting stuff, man. Yeah, well, it's, uh, you know, anxious to get back to it because obviously, like everybody else, we were sort of locked down for for a while. Mm-hmm. And now uh, we finished this record in April, and uh, and we're able to put it out until February when we were able to get on the road and stuff. So we're very anxious and, and excited that that it's finally coming out and we're able to do some shows. Uh, and obviously everyone excited right there along with you. And I don't want to alarm you, Slash, but we are now at a decade with Slash featuring Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators. When you dropped uh, Apocalyptic Love in 2012, did you ever imagine that we'd be here 10 years later talking about your fourth album with this lineup? No, it's pretty surreal. I mean, you know, when we did that record, it was just sort of very much in the moment. And I guess that's how this whole, you know, this band's career has been. Because I, when, you know, when, when uh, it came up that we had, you know, that was 10 years ago, it just went by so quick. And I had absolutely no idea that 10 years has gone by. So, yeah, yeah, we, we, it's, it's, it's hard to imagine, you know, sitting back at, when we first started and then thinking that we would be still together and doing records this far in the future. You were a young man at 46 when that album first came and that first one came out. I haven't now even done the math. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first single that was released, The River is Rising, Obviously, delighting fans everywhere. People are hearing it. You hear it on JJO. And I'm sure you love all the songs on the album. Otherwise, you wouldn't put them on there. But maybe is there one song that shows off the album the best, in your opinion? Like if someone said, hey, Slash, play me one song off your new album. What would be the song you'd pick? It's hard. It's really hard to do. The album has got a lot of variety on the record. Mm -hmm. You know, so like, you know, we we, uh, Rivers Rising was a a, a great in-your-face aggressive song that made a a good first song to put out. Mm -hmm. Um, But it's not indicative of the whole record, so it's really hard. There's a song called Spirit Love that, that is pretty cool. Um, but you know, I could sit here and go, "Hey, but there's this other song. There's this other song." So you, uh, you just have to check out the whole record. It's like trying to pick a favorite child. I mean, you may have one that you prefer more, but you know you love them all. Equal. Well, That's you know what? You know what happens is when you first do a record, you get so, you're really, really close to it because all the material on there is really just as important as the other material. You know, and so so it's really hard to differentiate one song from another. But when you get you know away from it, like you know, two years later or three years later, then you start to have a perspective and you can pick songs that you really, really like compared to other ones. Like I was just driving in the car last night listening to a song that we're putting in the set and then I just let it run and I started to like, oh man, this is a really great song. <laughs> you know, like it, it's, it's something that you have to get away from it for a while before you can really sort of pick and choose. Now, that's an interesting take, yeah, when you're right in it. And, and you mentioned something there that uh, you guys actually had this album done in April of 2021. Did right. that maybe cause, like, did you start maybe like, well, let's go back and maybe look at this bit, or let's maybe redo this riff. Did that happen, right. or were you guys pretty set on it? No, no, I wouldn't. As soon as it was mastered and everything, because you, you, you spend a lot of time with the record between the, I mean, obviously recording it, but then mixing it and mastering it, there's a lot of listening and, and whatnot. 
So you pretty much know what you have by the time you've done mastering it. And so when we were done mastering it, knowing that it wasn't going to come out until February, I just put it away. I didn't listen to it um, until about two weeks ago. Because otherwise you overanalyze stuff, and you're, you're moody, right? You yeah. listen to it one day, and it's the greatest thing you ever heard. The next day you're like, I don't know. <laughs> you know, It's like you just have to get away from it. And I don't tend to listen to records that we've done um, after they're finished anyway. You know, Madison Solid Rack 941 JJO. I'm Brock, and my guest for JJO Discover New Music is the legendary Slash. Slash's new release is four, and we're highlighting that this week on Discover New Music. You're not a spring chicken anymore. You're still in good shape. You're still looking good out there. You're aging very well. But hitting the road has got to be maybe a little bit different at uh, uh, further down the road than maybe even 10 years ago. How do you prepare for that? Um, it's, it's it's still pretty much the same. I mean, you know, I just I just <laughs> just go. Uh, but you know, I keep I keep myself in in decent shape, so it's not a shock to all of a sudden get into that sort of like you know, physically demanding, you know, environment day in and day out for that many hours every night. So I always sort of keep myself in, in some sort of decent physical shape. And then you just go for it, you know. Uh, it, not so much of, you know, the early days where you were traveling by van. It's a little bit more comfortable now, right? Well, I mean, this band still travels the, enti- the entirety of the band on one bus. Oh, wow. So it hasn't changed that much. <laughs> Guns N' Roses, on the other hand, I have my own bus in Guns N' Roses, but in the Conspirators, considering it's a smaller it's a, you know smaller production all around, uh, um, we, we still travel all together on one bus. Uh, uh, who's, the, who's the worst bus mate, if you you want to call them out right now you can do it <laughs> no these guys are great i mean i have to, I, I, for really early on like from the very beginning when we first started we got along great as players and had a great chemistry as players but as people we've always gotten on really really well so they're great to travel on the bus with and actually when we recorded the record i don't know if i mentioned it before but we all met in vegas we got tested in vegas and then we got on the bus and went to Nashville, and that's how we got to Nashville was a tour bus. No so we're, we're good on a bus. I love it, man. I love it. And uh, the phrase, getting tested in Vegas, I think a lot of people say at the same time. So it might be for different things, but you know. Uh, slash, at this point, y- you've pretty much done it all. Uh, you don't have anything to prove musically. From GNR to Velvet Revolver, uh, countless awards, accolades, whatever. Playing with Michael Jackson, now to your fourth album with Miles and the Conspirators. How do you find ways to challenge yourself? I, I guess, what does Slash do at this point to push himself musically? I, you know, it's I'm, I'm listening to you say what you were just saying, and, and the thing is, is that I haven't reached any kind of anything close to where, you know, you're sort of headed, you know, as a musician. So it's all a big challenge, and it's a never-ending never, never ending, uh, journey, and, and uh, you know, it's, it, it's, it's, I appreciate what you were saying, but it's, yeah, it's nothing like that. It's like, it's a, it's a quest and, and, um, as a player, you can never be too good. So you just keep at it and keep at it. I think that's a good message. Very again. humbling. Yeah, well, good, good. There you go. And again, another a great life lesson uh, for all the young musicians out there, even Slash saying, look, you still got things to work on. And yeah. Madison Solid Rock 941 JJO. I'm Brock, and my guest for JJO Discover New Music is the legendary Slash. The new album, uh, simply titled Four. Uh, did you guys just not want to muddy up the water? What, what, why'd you go with Four on there? Four is a pretty decent milestone for a band, fourth record. But more than anything, I just didn't want to get into having a title that in any way, shape, or form referenced the horrible past year, because we did it in 2021. So I didn't want to do any, say anything that referenced 2020, because there was just so much, uh, it was such a tumultuous year for everybody, and the first thing, the first thing I wanted to do was come up with some clever you know, sort of a quip or a remark, mm-hmm. but there was just nothing to encapsulate <laughs> what 2020 was about. So rather than even go near it, I just said, let's call it four. Call it four. And it, easy, <laughs> easy to remember. And, you know, exactly. You don't muddy yeah. up the water. We get it. Well, I think everyone is so excited to add this to their collection, vinyl, CD. I know there was a deluxe edition that was released, I believe, at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're really excited, man. <laughs> uh, and I, yeah. think, I think everyone is at this point. You know, new music, again, you mentioned the, the horrible past two years this is a a nice shining uh light beacon uh with all of this that we all get too excited about uh do you i just have a couple more quick questions do we have just a little bit of time 
Uh, I think so. Uh, yeah, it's like a minute or 90 seconds. Oh, that's all we need. All right, this will be rapid fire with Slash. Okay. Now that we got the main stuff out. Okay, Whammy Bar or Wawa Pedal? Wawa Pedal. Uh, now, I know you prefer E-flat tuning, but if you got to pick Drop D or Open G? Oh, that's a good one. Probably Open G. Open G, very nice, very nice. Amps that go to 10 or amps that go to 11? Amps that go to 11. Pizza or tacos? Tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Chili dog or corn dog? Chili dog. Disco or techno? Oh, God. Um, well, I'd have to go with disco. You know, more as, as, as closer to analog as we can get. <laughs> uh, for articles, of course, Playboy or Penthouse? Uh, yes, of course, Penthouse. Penthouse. I know you're just reading them for the articles. Of course. Uh, who would you rather see, Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster? Loch Ness Monster, for sure. Uh, and final question, one punch from Mike Tyson or 100 punches from the Where's the Beef Lady? <laughs> That's a crazy question. Um, I have to go with 100 punches from the Where's the Beef Lady, just for the hell of it. Uh, and that's smart, too. One punch from Mike Tyson, even now you're dead. I don't think anybody yeah, can yeah. survive that. So uh, thank you for humoring me. Slash, everyone, go get the new album titled 4 Slash featuring Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators. I appreciate the time, as always. Thank you, man. Yeah, man, it's good talking to you, and we'll see you out there. All right, take care, brother. Hey, this is Slash. You're listening to Madison Solid Rock 94.1 JJO. Discover new music now on the homepage of WJJO.com, in the JJO app, or wherever you get your podcasts.